I called on the Lord who is worthy of praise, and he saved me from my enemies. 2 Samuel 22, 4. Hey, fine babe. Sophia, you have done it again. <laughs> well, I can't take all the credit for this look. It actually came like this. Girl. You hear waiting at they talk. Straight out of the box, she was just ready and giving. The frontal is 13 by 4, but with the way I'm rocking it, it's giving 13 by 6. I'll leave all the links to the hair information down below in the description box. But let's get into this install right now. Hi. So today's video is going to be very, very beginner friendly. If you're intimidated by installing your own wigs straight out the box, this video is for you and I hope it helps you do it on your own. This video is also for you if you like to take life easy. Frontals don't always require the most work. You don't have to just go straight in and do every single thing. So I'm gonna show you how I simply install my wigs fresh out the box. Before you cut the lace and do all the yada yada, you wanna see how the wig fits. And this one did fit a little small. I'm doing the side part today. That's the main thing I'm concerned about. Actually, another concern is that these roots are bright. For what now? Of course, I like that the hair color is warm, but must the roots be that bright? I was so afraid, but don't worry. I decided not to dye it and it came out really nice. So we're going straight into the install. Take that wig off and let's get to work. Usually my hair is parted in the middle, so I just throw on my wig cap and go. But because I'm doing a side part today, I have to do the ball cap method. And this is my first time doing the ball cap method. So basically, I just take my wig cap and stretch it to my face cut some space for my little tiny ears to go through. And then we're gonna spray some hairspray. Today I'm using olive oil ORS holding spray. And guys, don't be like me, lean back because leaning forward just causes it to spill all down your face and we have a mess. So just keep your head tilted back. After that, you're gonna blow dry it. Then you're gonna take some scissors and carefully cut the lace off the front. I was so impatient and started cutting before it completely dried, which caused it to lift a little bit. But I personally didn't care, as you can see. Um, I don't do this method often, but it does make your side part look better if you're wearing a frontal. So yeah, once you get to cutting, I just cut a straight line across and then I go back in and get those little, little details in the front, try to shape it better to my head. You just pull the cap up, lift it just a bit, and just, you know, cut bits and pieces off until it matches your hairline. And there you go, mamacita. You just did the ball cap method all by yourself. Let's go and work on this wig. So we're dealing with some very curly hair. We're gonna take a hot comb and we're going to just straighten out those edges in the front a little bit. Whether the hair is curly or straight or body wave or whatever, you wanna do this because it helps me personally to see how thick the hairline actually is rather than using water to spray it and getting all messy and making mistakes with plucking. This just makes it so much easier. And thankfully with this wig, there's not much plucking to do at all. Those edges look already pre-plucked. So as for me, I can't help myself. I haven't made a hair video in a while. I'm gonna just go ahead and pluck it small so you guys can see. I sprayed some hairspray just to, you know, make the hair obey the hot comb a little bit more. Um, give it some definition and I just went in and I just plucked very very minimally just enough until it has that pulling effect where it looks like it's actually coming from a scalp right and I didn't pluck too much this is all that came out I even think I over plucked but yeah, I'm gonna just take some mousse and rub that back this is gonna help when we put that wig on to look more realistic mind you I didn't have to bleach the knots it's up to you whether you want to bleach them me I'm a lazy babe I didn't feel like it today and then I just blow dried that mousse dry, took the hot comb once more, and look at that. That is what you want to see when you put it on your head. It's gonna make things a lot easier when it comes to laying the wig. Yes, this is my song. Okay, so what we're gonna do, right? Just to make sure those ear tabs go from side to side is cut the lace separating it from the wig. This will allow a lot more space. 
look at the cap and look at the lace i'm just separating them so i can have look at that extended space then this is for beginners only if you already know what you're doing you're just here because you like to spend time with me hey girl but for my beginners this is what helps me to know i'm putting the lace in the right place just separating those edges in the front and then spraying the lace down right there why because then i make sure that the hairline is not too far back or too close to my eyebrows it's just right once i dry that a little bit or set it a little bit i'm going to take that hair and comb it all the way back this way i am sure this is where i want my frontal now i'm going to spray the lace with that ors again and comb it back yay it's looking nice i told you i not to bleach the nuts but yeah i'm gonna take an elastic band and tie it real good behind my neck you want it to end at your earlobe so it gets those sideburn pieces down and then to be on your forehead as well then on the hottest setting blow dry it the heat from that blow dryer will activate the products in that lace spray what you want you want it to be up and stuck after you've applied that heat it's also good to let some cool air get in there and let it harden and yeah i pushed that elastic band back and we're gonna cut off that lace now now it's up to you how you cut off your lace however comfortable me i'm on camera i like to get deep in my mirror in real life and cut that lace but here i am trying to be a youtuber and stuff so yeah i'm in front of my mirror can't even see but i'm just pulling it back and i'm going to cut across that lace don't think too deeply about your hairline that can very much be created with how you style your edges or how you lay your hair. Just make sure you get that lace cut off as close as you can to your hairline. If you're having trouble getting to, you know, your hairline with the scissors, just try to cut the lace into sections like I did. So you can go a section at a time, like, you know, side, middle, other side. And then once you cut the lace off, you can go in and actually customize your hairline. Like here in the front, my head goes up a little bit. It's not like a straight line. So I just cut it a little bit more. And then I put the elastic band and a little more hairspray to just put back whatever started lifting. I also noticed at this point that the lace was a little darker than my skin. It is tinted. Um, there's not much to do to fix that. It is what it is, but I'm gonna try to make it look as nice as possible. While my lace is drying, I'm gonna take the advantage to start styling my hair. I love this spray bottle from Sally's because it comes out like a strong mist and not really like spray. It's amazing. I'm using the water to take out those extra hairs that I plucked and got stuck in those curls and to just keep spraying till I reinforce those beautiful, look at those curls, oh my God. Like I actually got chills. <laughs> I love hair so much. It was at this flip that I realized, yep, that's my part. That is so cute. So yeah, just going in and spraying and getting those curls to come back. This unit is coming with me on my next vacation because it's so easy to manage and to style. Like no iron, no curly, no nothing. Just straight water and you're good. Just spray water and you're good. Just look like a fine baby. You're good and you're good just spray what that and you're good <laughs> okay i got it all out of my system i promise i'm done if you're a fine babe you know i just can't help myself but anyways now it's time to part and i realize this frontal is short it is 13 by 4 it is giving what it said it would give um i was kind of rushing at this point because i had to go so i just parted it yeah yeah and i took that elastic band off and don't be alarmed it's gonna be giving like straight across your head which i don't like but that's what edges are for even if you don't like edges just lay them back with a product right it makes a big difference but as for me i like a good sideburn and i just part above my ear to get that and put that hair down and then next i just go in right there at the arch of my brow to bring down that little swoop and bring that hair out you want to make sure it's in a triangle shape so it looks natural and you don't cut off like you know a straight looking edge and then in the front just remove some hair so i can have my little swoop there too cool cool now i'm going to take a comb and just comb it forward because it kind of got stuck to the lace with all that hairspray and laying um and the other side as well now it's time to trim the baby hairs. Now hear me out real quick. Even if you don't do the swoops and the loops and the baby hairs, I still think it's really nice to cut those hairs in the front shorter because it gives for a better lay. And you'll see what I'm talking about when we get there. 
but as for me i like my baby hairs so i don't cut them short immediately i like to cut them a little you know long and trim them down once i see they're too long but yeah i'm taking mousse i usually don't lather all over my face but guys i was over it at this point i was ready to go so yeah with the mousse i then start to make the swoops and right here with this edge, it's not on my face, it's going back into the wig. But do you see how doing that still gives for a realistic lay, whether you have baby hairs or not, right? Just like our real hair would. Also with baby hairs, you don't want them too long, uh, but you also don't want them too short. You want them at a very good length to where they can swoop, but not have anything extra hanging off and not too short to where they don't swoop at all. You know what I mean? So I'm just cutting mine a little bit shorter and it really lays easier when it's the right length. When they're too long, they just be doing too much and they don't obey what you're trying to do with your edge brush or your comb. So short edges for the win. Also, I'm using mousse, but there's times where I use, you know, hairspray to lay my edges and I'll show you that in another video. There's times where I use gel. You know, I know some people use edge control. So whatever you use to lay your edges is fine. Um, it doesn't have to be mousse. I just go depending on my mood. And mousse also lifts the lace. So when I do, I have to use hairspray just to get it back down. Now, regardless of whatever you use to lay, you want to take a headband and just set those edges in place. Once the hair is dry, I can tell by, you know, feeling a tightening sensation on my face, like fresh hair done, but you can use your finger and check if it's dry. We're almost done, just have to touch it up a bit. I'm gonna take some 24 hour edge wax and use that to one, create that arch in my ear cause that is looking good. And then two, keep those flyaways down and give the hair some shape, some make it look more neater, you get what I mean? And yeah, I'm gonna take my foundation. And like I said, the lace is darker than my skin. It's tinted, which is a blessing, but it's tinted a little too dark for me. Lastly, I'm gonna take that comb and just pluck out a little bit of hair and just make sure that part is a little more open, looking more natural, which looks really good right there. I'm so in love with this hair texture and the color of the hair, just, it's perfect. Like it doesn't even look like manufactured. It looks like hand colored, you know what I mean? In fact, let me complete this look and go beat my face, I beg. Go find, babe. Go find, babe. Go find, hey, get in. I promise you this is the last time I'm gonna spray water. I just want it to be perfect for the thumbnail because it got a little frizzy when I was doing my makeup. And to stop that frizz, we're gonna need some mousse and some hairspray. So just take some mousse. You don't wanna rub it through the hair because it's gonna mess up the volume. You just wanna get on the top, you know, play with it a little bit and then spray some water on top of that. And when it air dries, that volume is gonna come right back. Like just look at that color. Are they crazy? Day. beauty forever thank you so much for sending me this hair why am i going in with this again i'm not sure i'm a little rusty with the voiceovers forgive me but it's looking good honestly i just think i'm showing off at this point <laughs> she been messing with my head. Yes, I do run town. Anyway, all the information is down below in the description box before you click and go anywhere. I don't care if my name is on the screen or if my face is popping up in three ways. You need to make sure you're subscribed. Oh my God, and follow me on Instagram. Like, look how I put this hair into a bun. I didn't get it on camera for you guys, but you know, if you're on Instagram, maybe you would see it. Anyway, you need to be a fine babe all over. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, it all. Follow me outside. Let's leave YouTube and go somewhere beautiful, baby girl. And just make sure you're subscribed because I'm gonna be dropping videos every week. <laughs> you hear what's in that day talk. I said I'll be dropping videos every week. So make sure your notification bell is on because YouTube don't like me right now. <laughs> and I understand. But yeah, love you.